From that, I last but not least, um, Adam Hanaway. We're very happy and honored to have you, Senior Vice President for EMP Operations for Mall Group. So, Adam, you heard about us, you know, how uh, Roshni explained BP, the largest operator we have in the region, large plans to improve operations, bring enhanced uh, the recovery factors and uh, work with all the counterparts to, to accomplish that. I do believe non-operators such as yourself uh, has a huge role to play. You know, BP actively engage all the stakeholders. But I'm interested, how do you see yourself adding additional values? As an example, you are in ACG now. When I say that's, that's you know, now, so in the next question, how do you see yourself growing in Azerbaijan? So that type of the uh, would be very interesting, I think, for the audience to hear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me on the panel today. <clears throat> As you know, Mol entered the ACG in 2020 during the difficult times of the pandemic. Now, despite uh, these challenges, Mol has always remained committed and considers our participation in ACG as a long-term investment. So we are here, here to stay. So I think there are actually two questions uh, to address. One is, what value does a, a non-operated company uh, like Mall uh, bring to the region? And the second is actually, wh why is this good for Mall? So let me address both. Um, starting with uh, you know, what we bring to the table here. Uh, Mall used to be the Hungarian OC, uh, which expanded uh, over the years, several decades actually, both horizontally and vertically. Now, we operate in our home ground. We operate in a very mature basin. Um, so some of the themes actually mentioned uh, earlier are very familiar to me. Um, production optimization is really uh, part of our DNA, squeezing uh, the barrels. And, and uh, I fully agree and very much believe that uh, you know, oil fields never die. The other, the other element is efficiency. Uh, we actually operate uh, more than 100 facilities onshore and uh, several thousand kilometers of pipelines, both oil and gas, with very highly variable composition and quality. And uh, combined all of that, and on top of all of that, is the notion of, of uh, maximum recovery, maximum economic recovery. Um, for example, over the decades, we have delivered uh, six CO2-based EOR projects, uh, in our region, uh, and uh, these have delivered in our experience uh, five, even close to 10 percentage points of additional recovery. And we are preparing for more. Um, and not only EOR, but also EGR, which is actually a, a very interesting uh, uh, further improvement in, in recovery in, in gas fields. Now, we also have uh, in-depth expertise in exploration. CE, as I mentioned, was uh, heavily explored and a very mature basin. For example, the first discovery was made in the 1930s, not quite uh, 1840s, but uh, for us it's still quite a long time. And uh, we have drilled some uh, 5,000 wells uh, in a country which is a similar size of Azerbaijan, but much less uh, prolific in hydrocarbons, so heavily explored. Now, despite that, uh, we have recently successfully deployed uh, DHI-based methodologies to unlock near-field uh, shallow gas opportunities, playing the game of infrastructure-led exploration, in fact, with more than 90% success rate and with very short, up to six months, uh, time to first gas from spud to the first molecule on the market. Really just drill, hook it up, and uh, there we go. Um, recently, we also had success in oil exploration in carbonates uh, with excellent productivity. Uh, productivity is a challenge in, in our uh, basin, but uh, here we managed to unlock something new. Now, uh, moving on internationally, uh, we had a very successful exploration-based greenfield country entry in Pakistan 25 years ago, and we remain operators there with currently some 60,000 barrels of oil equivalent production and one of the few international companies uh, in, in the country. And uh, finally, uh, so what are we doing in, in, in the region? In ACG and in Kazakhstan, we, as I mentioned, we are non-operated partners. 
We, are, we participate in production and large-scale field development projects. We aim to bring value at there by taking part in some of the uh, complex technical work. So, for example, in the case of uh, ACG, uh, we participate in the subsurface modeling of, of the field. Now, uh, why is it all good for MOL and, and what are we doing here? MOL has uh, recently updated its uh, strategy and our focus is security of energy supply. Again, a notion well discussed uh, uh, over the past couple of days. This is combined with ambitious targets to reduce uh, our greenhouse gas emissions by up to 25% until 2030. So what, what does this mean for upstream? Actually, a uh, two-pronged uh, strategy here. We are pursuing new uh, low-carbon opportunities, building on our capabilities. It's, uh, it's, it's key to have uh, synergies, uh, to, to think about adjacent uh, opportunities here. So we have launched exploration in geothermal, in, in the Pannonian Basin, supported by the fact that geothermal gradient in Hungary and Croatia is more than double of the global average, so roughly 5 to 8 uh, Celsius uh, per 100 meters. We are also launching a pilot project in Hungary to extract lithium from, from, from formation water. So again, this is a pretty novel uh, thing uh, uh, spreading around the world now, and uh, we, have, uh, we, are, we have found actually a, a, an interesting opportunity in Hungary. In addition, as a response to the fast-changing regulatory environment in the EU, we are reviewing possibilities for carbon capture and storage, seeking partnership with emission-heavy industries. So having said all that, we do remain committed to our core business, which is oil and gas upstream. So that, is, that remains our bread and butter. MOL is, and we remain an integrated company, meaning that refining and petchem needs our oil and gas. So therefore, we aim to at least maintain our current production level by mitigating natural decline in our home countries, uh, Hungary and Croatia, and shaping our international portfolio. ACG is a key part of that, and uh, some of our entitlement oil has already found its way to our refineries in, in Hungary and Slovakia. So in, in conclusion, MOL's focus in Azerbaijan is to remain a constructive, trusted partner for, for the long term. Thank you.